What's up everybody? Patrick from WP Builder Helper and in today's video we're going to be comparing Brizzy and Oxygen. Two of the biggest names in the game. I'm sure some of you have already had your minds made up whether you're a fan of Brizzy or whether you're a fan of Oxygen but at times I think the lines kind of blur with both of these builders and I want to go over the pros and cons of both of them and talk about what they both do right and what they both do wrong. So let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of, you know, our typical website. And I wanted to go over both of these builders if you're someone who is new to page building. A lot of you are probably not new to page building, so you're going to want to skip this portion, but I'm going to make it really, really short. So I'm only going to spend about a few minutes on it. So Brizzy is a builder that if you go and you take a look at what they're doing, they are doing something that's a little bit different from Oxygen. They're kind of doing their own thing. They include uh, contact forms and everything else, and basically the Brizzy way essentially is a way of dumbing things down so that when you get inside of the builder everything is much much cleaner it's a much faster experience and you know generally it's a much better experience than i think that oxygen is now some of the long-term oxygen people will probably come out and they'll say well there's nothing wrong with oxygen but one of the most biggest complaints about oxygen has been this whole entire time that oxygen's experience is just um, at least using the builder itself is just not up to par with Brizzy or any of the other page builders for that matter. Some people would say, eh, they're fine with it and they don't have any issues, but a lot of other people would probably go on and say that it's not their favorite. And it's no surprise. When you have something similar to Brizzy, Brizzy's got more layouts, it's got pop-ups. Well, I mean, Oxygen has pop-ups too. But it's got this whole entire ecosystem that kind of works with it and uh, still allows you to use a theme and everything like that. It's also got this cloud functionality that's kind of built in where if you want to use WordPress, that's hosted by you. And if you want to do the cloud, that's hosted by them. And anybody who buys a lifetime license gets the cloud for free for two years so that you can basically test it out. And I think like it's like $99 a year after that for unlimited websites for people who get the lifetime deal. Oxygen, on the other hand, is a more complex builder. It's a builder that requires you to know what you're doing. You cannot go into Oxygen and uh, take and just start uh, drag and dropping stuff. It just doesn't work that way. Now, Oxygen has a very intuitive interface. And for anybody who is a designer, they get to know it very quickly because it uses a lot of the same design features that all the rest of the page builders do. And so that's the good thing about Oxygen. The bad thing is in order to do some of the more complicated features that you're probably gonna wanna end up doing, you're not gonna find some of those things in Oxygen. Uh, you're gonna have to use some special code and do all of this and that, and it requires a lot more coding. Someone had once said it in the Oxygen group that Oxygen kind of forces you to learn coding more so than it would with something like Brizzy. Brizzy is more of a WYSIWYG and Oxygen is more of a, is more of like a tool, almost like Dreamweaver or something like that, where you're gonna go in and you're gonna learn it and it's gonna help you build websites, but you're also gonna have to know some code to do some of the special things that you wanna do. So let's take a bigger dive into both of these and kind of look and see what we can find as we dive into them. So the next thing to note is definitely that Brizzy has a public roadmap. Oxygen does not. This, for the longest time, has been one of my frustrations with Oxygen Builder as it goes on, because almost every other builder known to man has a public roadmap, and Oxygen does not believe in telegraphing their moves. Well, newsflash, um, everybody else is doing it. So when you're not doing it, it doesn't make you look special. It makes you look stupid because it's something that most people are used to. They're used to seeing public roadmaps. Almost any SaaS product 
or any app that's out on any market usually has a public roadmap. And if you ask for a public roadmap or a change log, typically you will find it. However, with Oxygen, not so much the case. You can find their blog posts with their release, release candidates and all their articles about what they've done with Oxygen. But for the most part, when you take and you go through this, you actually find pretty quickly that, you know, it, it's mostly coming from Elijah, which is fine. I guess he's the head of Oxygen right now. But you don't see very much from Lewis anymore. It's like Lewis is still there, but I guess he runs other things. He's probably got other companies to run. So Elijah's running the company now. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't mind that. I, I just wish that there was an actual change log that I could go into, similar to what I could do here with Brizzy, so you can kind of see what the ebb and flow is of everything going on. You can go through their blog posts, so just for FYI, I could go through their blog posts and I can kind of see how fast they're coming out with updates, which is good for somebody who's maybe not on the bleeding edge of oxygen or anything like that. So for instance, you can see there's a change log here, but it's in the form of a blog post rather than an actual, you know, something that I can go to and see all the changes. So it makes it a little bit more complicated to actually go through and search and find. But regardless, both of these guys uh, do some decent updating. I can't really complain about either of them. Uh, Oxygen does not have a free version. Brizzy Pro does, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about using it. As a matter of fact, I've done a video before that you can get away with just using Brizzy free. You don't have to go pro, although pro does give you a lot of features, and I'd recommend it if you're getting their lifetime license and you actually like it. So in that category, Brizzy does a great job of informing you of what's coming out. They have these town hall meetings that are usually out at some point in time where they go over some of the newer features. Oxygen goes through these beta patches and stuff like that, but very rarely um, do you see anything that's going to be telegraphed before they do it. So typically with Oxygen, you know, they're not going to telegraph it. It just doesn't happen. It's not going to happen. So in that regards, uh, I think Brizzy has them beat, at least with the public roadmap. Some people are going to say this is useless, and to some extent, they are correct because there are things that are on here. So if we're looking at this and we go to something like A-B testing, you can see A-B testing was added in 2019. This has been in development hell and it's now 2021. So A-B testing still hasn't even been looked at. Uh, white labeling is actually out. So I'm kind of curious as to why this is not, but I guess they're trying to say they want to white label the, everything that's included in the builder. That's another thing you're going to notice about Brizzy compared to Oxygen. Oxygen usually doesn't back up and work on things. When they release an update or any kind of change or anything like that, they actually make the change. And Brizzy, on the other hand, like for some reason, they half-heartedly come out with these updates, like for instance, the WooCommerce thing. Like they've already come out with WooCommerce. It works on their site, but it's just not that great. And so they got to go back and they like double back and then they finish it. It's like they come out with like the first half of something. And then later on, they come out with the second half of something. And it's it, it's annoying from a developer standpoint, because when you're looking for something to be complete, you're looking for it to be complete all at one time. And then you make gradual changes to fix it as the time goes on. You're not looking for something that is incomplete and then it takes another, you know, month or whatever or a couple of years to get to the other end. Because as you can see, this also started, this started way in 2018 and it's still technically not completed. Um, and I'm sure some of this is not even updated, so that's probably not fair either. I'm not sure how much they follow this. And some people would argue that that is a problem with public roadmaps. If they're not followed, then what difference does it make? Fair enough. And in that case, I would consider Oxygen and Brizzy on equal levels if they aren't updated. So for me, that's, you know, it is what it is. So moving away from the change log, if we dive into them, you can see this is a page that is built with Oxygen. And this is one of their pages that they have. 
Let me take you inside of Oxygen and actually show you what this page looks like and what you're going to run into when you're working with it. And then we can take and we can go into the details of just what is included. So you'll notice right off the bat that the load time for Oxygen, it's one of the things that I'm hoping they're working on, but it's been an annoyance for some people. Now this is on a local host, so it is going to load much, much slower than um, a regular page builder, but Regardless, it's it's slow. Oxygen works in much of the same ways that others work as. You just click on most of the objects and then you can go into the primary tools and uh, shrink and enlarge things and you can go into the advanced tools and you can change things like background, spacing, layout, typography, borders, effects, custom CSS, JavaScript, and attributes. So as you can see, Oxygen already has uh, a lot going for it. It has most of the stuff that you would be interested in using and you can even see here where they're building complex layouts with just divs and it's really cool the way that they're building this because Oxygen was one of the first if we're giving them uh, if we're giving them some prompts Oxygen was one of the first when they first came out with this to actually have the layout the way that they have it with uh, with uh, grid and everything else. And now everybody's kind of copying them and trying to get to this. And I think Elementor had it too, or eventually got it, but Oxygen has this. Brizzy, not so much. We'll jump into Brizzy a little later and I'll show you, but they do not have grid or anything like that. They don't have grid, they don't have Flexbox, they're not using it. They have kind of their own proprietary system and later that will come into effect and we will talk about the negative effects of that. So for anyone who's familiar, if you're not familiar with Grid or you're not familiar with Flexbox, I'd highly recommend you look into it. It's going to require you to learn some things, but for the most part, it's a much quicker way to build um, when you actually start to learn it. It does require you to understand some parts of code. It doesn't require much, but it requires you to understand some things. But for the most part, Oxygen works similar to the way that everything else would work. In essence, you're clicking on things and you can go in and you can change things. So for instance, if I wanted to change this price, I could go in and change it. That's the cool thing. You can click on a button and you can go in and you can change uh, buttons. So for instance, I think this would turn the button background color. I don't think that turns the background color anything. That might not even be the background color to the button. Let's see. So it's probably because it's right here, it's got a class attached to it. There's a div block. There we go. So there's your button. So if I change this, you'll see quickly that you can change colors of things. And Oxygen has this whole big way of changing things using actual IDs and class names. And that's pretty cool. Most builders have that built in. But Oxygen makes it one step easier. Oxygen also was one of the first people to have the structure pane that's over here. And it still works fairly well. It's a good uh, structure pane. I don't have any complaints about it. Although I would say it is getting to the point where it's getting a little bit outdated. And they should try uh, coming up with a system where we could see things. When you get a really big structure pane, it gets to be a uh, pain in the butt to try and see the different sections. I wish there was a way that you could color them or or just do something like that where you could sort them out as you know sections and rows and all of that. There's also history, you know, back and forth, most of the things that you would come to find and love in most page builders. Uh, when going inside the page builder itself, we can take a look at the actual ad feature and look at all of the different things that they include. Oxygen has a large, large number of things that they include. So one of the things that they include with their containers is section, divs, columns, headings. They've got text, rich text, text links, text wrappers, buttons, images, videos, icons, code blocks. Then you've got the helper section, whereas they have a header builder, social icons, all of this kind of stuff that you can see. And the list goes on and on and on. I could really spend a large number of time going through the stuff that they have. They also have pro menus and, you know, just all the things that you would come to love. Then you get down to the bottom and they have library sets. You'll see they have libraries here. They have design sets that you can kind of go through. So if you want to just pick something on the fly, 
you could go into the sections, sections and elements, and you could go in here and you could just pick stuff on the fly and just do it the do it this way, like go in and do that. One of my chief complaints about the library section has always been that this library section is probably one of the worst library sections of any page builder on the market. It's really hard to know what you're looking at unless you know exactly which design set that you want to use. The way that this is worked in doesn't really work well. And as a matter of fact, it's the worst out of all the page builders. So that's one of the things that I would expect Oxygen to take an update one day because I don't like the way that it works. I think that it's pretty stupid and you'll see why when we get towards the end. I'll take an, uh, when I go into Brizzy, I'll take an, I'll go into there and I'll see that. Another thing you should be aware of is Oxygen does not come with a native contact form builder. That's a minor thing because there's lots of contact forms that you can buy on your own. But some people would say right off the bat, well, if it doesn't come with one, then that's just another expense. And you're absolutely right. You're going to have to buy a contact form of some sort so that you can take and use oxygen. So, you know, no points there for oxygen in terms of that. Um, in terms of oxygen's, uh, you know, network and everything, oxygen does a good job with everything that they have in here, you can build a complete website. Their Facebook group is very friendly and helpful. Uh, you'll find a lot of really, really good high-end people that are in there. There's a lot of really, really great people that have uh, experience that far outpaces even someone like myself, and they are really helpful and friendly. So I give Oxygen points there just because They've got a group that's really, really solid. I will say this, there are times where if someone asks a question within that group, they will end up getting uh, trolled a little bit, especially if the question is something that's very, very basic to most Oxygen users or something that just the, the person did not research. So I will say without a doubt that if you're somebody who is uh, not aware of how anything works in Oxygen, you go through and you learn how to build pages the way that these pages are built so that you can understand how they work because there's a lot that goes into this and if you're trying to learn for the first time it can be quite a pain to try and figure out how much of this works it, it, it doesn't come off as easy right away as as something as other builders so <clears throat> now we're going to jump into Brizzy so Brizzy is a different builder. Uh, the Brizzy way or the Brizzy builder is built much differently than Oxygen. You can still build beautiful pages and do all of that. Um, the one place that uh, Brizzy makes up for in Oxygen is the interface. And let me take you inside of the interface just so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, if you're somebody who's probably new to Oxygen, or maybe not new to it, but if you just don't understand the differences, it can be confusing. But Brizzy way, you'll notice the interface is much nicer, it's much slimmer. Typically with Brizzy, when you click on an object, you'll have these little arrows that are usually for rows and things like that. And even if you click on these, you have this that pops up. If you click a button, you have this that pops up. And you can kind of go into these little menus while you're on the page. That's the big thing. You also notice how fast it loaded. Oxygen is a very fast page builder for the front end, but it's a very slow page builder for the back end. As a matter of fact, I would say that Oxygen is the worst page builder for the back end. There's no other page builder that I know to my knowledge that loads as slow as Oxygen does. And so, if you're looking for a very quick experience, you'll quickly notice that Brizzy is a much, much fluid, just more fluid experience, especially even just taking something like adding things. In most cases, all you would do is just select what you want to do and you would just drag over what you want to add. With Oxygen, it's similar, but it's it's just not as fluid. It, it's just, it just doesn't work the same way. Uh, a lot of what Brizzy does is like we were talking before, it's a different model. So Oxygen uses the container model, which is much, much more flexible. Brizzy uses a model of divs. 
And these divs come in containers, rows, and objects. So for instance, if we take, Dave, Brizzy doesn't really have a, a layout chart the way that, or a structure pane the way that Oxygen does. It does have this reorder block system, so you can reorder blocks or whatever that case is. But you can't go through and actually see how these blocks are being like developed. Like you can't click a specific thing and right, rightfully enough, you really don't need to because of the way the Brizzy Builder works. It's, it's just a much more fluid experience. However, and here's where the main complaint for Brizzy versus Oxygen comes in. Because of the fact that Brizzy does not use Flexbox, it doesn't give you the option to arrange things within side of a container, which this would be a container. A div is typically a container that people use. So with Flexbox, if we go back to Oxygen and we take a look at the way that they were doing it, so if we just go to Edit Page, and I'll jump into Oxygen and show you, Inside of Flexbox, if you were using Flexbox, you have a bunch of different options. And even with Grid, you have a bunch of different options that you can choose. So inside of this section, you have a horizontal grid, you know, you have vertical, and then you can choose stretch. You can choose right, left, center, all of that. So most of the things that you would come to expect. Brizzy, on the other hand, doesn't have this. It's not that it doesn't have the ability for you to choose the way that you want the objects inside. That's not it. You can choose to put them up, down, anything else. It's that the way that it's doing this is not using Flexbox per se. It's not using Grid. It's using this div system and it's kind of forcing things to the bot, the top and the bottom. Because of this, you end up with a large number of divs inside of your main structure. And so your structure ends up being not as clean as you would like. And that can lead to some speed just degrading over the course of uh, working with a page, especially if you have a page that has a large number of objects on it. Uh, short number of objects, you're good. Large number of objects, not so good. But for the most part, like I said, the experience to me is a better experience, at least from my perception of it. Some people will probably call me out and say that they think Oxygen's a better experience. I like the way that Brizzy actually does all of this. I think it's great. I like their interface. Always have. Uh, Oxygen's been trying really, really hard to get their interface right, and they just haven't gotten it right just yet. But I like the way that Brizzy kind of does their interface. And so far, it's, it's looking really, really good. Um... One of the things you'll notice off of the uh, right off the bat is that Brizzy uses it has a lot of the same things that you would come to expect from Oxygen. So it's got counters, it's got spacers, it's got lines, it's got maps, it's got videos, it's got audio, pictures, text, buttons, all of that. But the difference is that it just doesn't have a lot of the stuff that you would come to think of as a developer. And that's where it gets hard. So for instance, let's say you're wanting to change the CSS of this item. Because of the way Oxygen works, it makes it much, much easier. With Brizzy, not so much. You would have to take and figure out what the element is, what it's called, and then put the CSS here, which is basic in terms of the way that I view it. I don't think it's that cool. Uh, I much prefer the way that some of the other builders have done it where they actually, when you click on an element, it actually just automatically populates that element name in there. That would be much more helpful to non-coders who are trying to build something and don't know what the element name is. Because otherwise, you've got to go through this whole entire of hunting and pecking just to try and find something to add some custom CSS if for some reason it doesn't have something you want. And believe me, Brizzy has a lot of things that you want, but it has a lot of things that it does not have yet. One of those things would be animations. When we go into Oxygen, you can clearly see that animations or effects, as you would say, are in here in galore. As a matter of fact, they have transform filters, text shadows, box shadows, transitions, opacity, and animate on scroll. Brizzy eh, has some of this. It definitely has box shadows and things like that. You can do a box shadow on something. 
You can do some um, some other values depending on how you want to do it. Like if you go into text, I think you can go into here and you can do a shadow and you can have a mask and you can have some of those things. So that's cool. That's cool that at least they allow you to do that. So for instance, if we pick this, uh, let's pick something that's colorful like this. You can see that that text is green and if we try and move it, it'll move it based upon this image. That's something that's kind of cool. They've got like a little mask feature. That's something that's different. Uh, they both have dynamic features. If I were to choose one today based upon uh, certain things, let's kind of narrow down the options because this video is getting pretty long and I definitely want to help out the people who are out there who are brand new. If you're someone who's brand new and you have a serious WooCommerce project, uh, right now for me, Brizzy is not the one. It's getting better with WooCommerce, but it's not there. I would choose Oxygen for this. Um, Oxygen's WooCommerce actual section is so good that you have pro uh, price, product title, product image, cart, product meta, description, related products, product builder, product tabs, all of this. Brizzy has something like that, but it's not as good. It's, it's nowhere near as good when it comes to WooCommerce. If you're someone who is all about performance and SEO, I will tell you right now, hands down, um, out of the box, Oxygen can give you a much faster result if you're taking and building the same exact page. Brizzy is a lot slower. It loads a lot of stuff. It's not as uh, optimized as Oxygen is when you're comparing that. It's not always a bad thing. I mean, you can take and you can optimize Brizzy. I've seen people on every single page builder known to man get 100s. I've seen it. Some of those people are just doing it to get kicks out of people because they want to make them mad because, you know, people will say, oh, well, Oxygen's the fastest. Well, Oxygen is the fastest out of the box. But when you start adding things like, um, you know, CDNs and all of this other stuff, you can make almost any page builder just as fast as Oxygen. Uh, but Oxygen does require less work to do that. Uh, it's just a cleaner code. It comes out cleaner and it shows in the end. It's just not as, uh, it's just oxygen's much, much cleaner than Brizzy in that respect. However, if you're someone who's a non-coder and you've never been a coder and you don't want to be a coder and you don't want to know anything about code, I would stay away from oxygen. You're going to have to know at least a little bit of code going into this. Oxygen is so code heavy with understanding how things work and how Flexbox works and everything like that, that it gets very, very confusing, very, very quick if you're someone who is a non-coder. And I, there have been people on the forums who have come in and they've done it without being able to code. So it's not like you can't do it, but it's going to be harder for you. It's going to be much, much harder than it would be for you to use something like Brizzy. So in that respect, just be ready that, you know, Oxygen is not a non-coder's friend. Just remember that because that is the truth. Um, another thing is when you're taking and looking at both of these, you have to look at the development cycle. Like I've said before, the development cycle matters, but it might matter to you more when you start seeing the fact that both of these builders are coming out with regular updates, which is good. Both of these builders have lifetime updates right now, currently. I think Brizzy is working on removing theirs. They're almost done. They've hit 55 licenses, although I think it's been that way for quite some time. So people would argue that that's probably a marketing ploy. This has been like, you know, it's been 50 something licenses forever and it hasn't gone down and it's hard to believe that nobody's buying them. But some people would say that's a marketing ploy, and it probably is. I, I don't blame them for doing that. I'm not even going to get frustrated with that. But, you know, Oxygen is changing up the way that they do their uh, pricing. So Oxygen has something that's called composite elements, and these composite elements, if you're somebody who's grandfathered in, these are basically elements that you would get just for being uh an oxygen person who's used stuff in the past. They're quicker, rapid library expansions is what they call them. Basically, they use the regular elements and they built some, some really cool and convenient things. Scroll to the top, dashboard, dynamic slider, all of this. 
They filled all of these things. For the most part, they're pretty good. But you can see $29 yearly uh, requires an oxygen license if you buy them, if you have not purchased the regular oxygen stuff. So that's another thing that we kind of don't know yet. Um, if we're looking at buying oxygen, I like oxygen's pricing in terms of the way they did it. Because you can see here, the ultimate lets you buy composite elements, and it's a one-time fee for two twenty-nine. I think that that's a fair fee to get all of this. Um, let me go back because there is one thing that I just realized I wanted to talk about, and that's Gutenberg. So, if you're looking at Gutenberg, both of these block builders can technically do, or page builders can build, can help. Uh, work with Gutenberg, I should say. Oxygen kind of, in some respects, has a leg up on them because they actually have a block builder, which you can use. And some people have said that it's kind of half-hearted and it really needs to be worked on and that they need some changes to it. But for the most part, it does have some native functionality with Gutenberg where you can actually go in and you can build with Gutenberg blocks. So if you wanted to, you could take and you could get this, which I think is awesome. You could just go and get that that specific. With Brizzy, it's a little bit different. Um, Brizzy has Gutenberg built in, but their pricing is going to be different, I believe. So their pricing is, right now, is going to be this. It's going to be $99 a year once this ends, once the lifetime pricing ends. And once that lifetime pricing ends, that's basically, that's basically it. It will come back but it's going to come back at a much higher price. So it's going to be more like $3.99 or, or $4.99 or $5.99. It's just going to keep going up as they keep adding more and more features to it, which I really, really can't complain about. So Brizzy only has these two. I expect them to split this at some point, and I expect this to go higher because I just think that that's going to happen. They haven't done it yet, but it will most likely happen. I don't think that they're going to stay $99 a year if I had to guess. It's just not going to happen. Um, they'll probably come out with some kind of ultimate package where you could you can get Brizzy and all of that. But the Oxygen has always been and always will be, I believe, at least to my knowledge, a lifetime deal. Um, I think at one point they tried a monthly and it didn't work. It kind of failed in their favor, honestly, because the lifetime deal is what everybody wants, and it's kept Oxygen going, and it's done some great things with uh, Oxygen. So in terms of that, I think Oxygen's winning in terms of pricing. At least once Brizzy's deal goes away, I, I think that this is going to be harder a harder pill to swallow. Although, let me be very crystal clear with something. Brizzy's $99 a year. If I had to go back and I did not have a lifetime license and I had to go buy something, $99 a year for unlimited websites is very, very fair. Um, it's As a matter of fact, it's so fair that I think that uh, Elementor charges uh, two, 200 or so, 200 plus, and Brizzy's only charging $99 for all the same pro features that you could view for unlimited. I mean, really, this doesn't even make sense when you compare it to this. You should just buy this every time. This is stupid to me. I For three sites, it's dumb. Just get this. <laughs> it makes much more sense. Um, so, you know, it really boils down to you. It boils down to the type of project you're going to do. It boils down to all of that. Uh, Brizzy does have some, some native built stuff. It does work. You can go through here and see what the difference is. I think if if I'm picking one today and I'm going out of my way to try and say which one's the best, I think it depends on the type of category that you're pitting them in. Um, both of these builders are good builders to me. They, they're targeting different subsets of the market. They're not targeting the same type of customer. Oxygen, like I said, is more for developers, and it always has been. And they've done a really good job of making sure that they keep it that way, and that's been what their strength is. And Brizzy's always been for kind of like non-coder people who want the Brizzy way, which is 
You know, it's not a bad way, in all honesty. When you start playing with and you start building pages, you can build them really, really fast. And so for me, it's a pretty clear-cut indication that it depends on the type of person, and it also depends on the type of project. You need to take a look at yourself, and you need to decide what type of project you're doing. I know that this wasn't a clear-cut win for either one, but I did go over some of the things that you would kind of expect if you're someone who's brand new in the page builders. And I hope that that has helped you choose one or the other in terms of which one you pick for whatever thing you're trying to do or whatever project you're trying to do. So hopefully you guys have liked this. I'm going to come out with more comparison videos where I go into depth with other page builders and how they compare with other ones. And we're going to go and uh, discuss those later on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.